marbles. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Yeah? yeah. Like the game of marbles, it's a game. Yeah. Yes, and it is. I came here wanting a new process. Yes. And I can feel how much fun this is going to be. Yeah. To be able to take a negative emotion, which we have many processes from you already. To be able to feel the guidance of a negative emotion and understand what it means in terms of marbles. Yes. Which are thoughts. Mm -hmm. And then to deliberately focus the thoughts in order to change the feeling. Period. Yes, like I'm buzzing from this. Why is changing the feeling a good idea? Because I get what I feel. If I feel like a victim, you could not have ever felt like a victim. You could go to a really long movie that was really good at making you feel like a victim. And you could watch it in a sort of uninterrupted format for, you know, a few hours. And you could leave feeling like a victim and somebody who had never beat anybody up could beat you up if you've got that vibe going. Now that's an exaggerated statement because usually you're not that fickle usually, but it could happen that way. And it's the same way with anything else in life. We everything. pay attention to everything that's going yeah. on in the world and we can become a victim just by paying attention to it, just like a movie. Well, the, or, or choose our feeling, our, our disc, how we feel about ourselves first. But so, that is the priority. This is what you all had planned. You said, I'm going to go into an environment of contrast, and here you are. And you said, and I'm going to know what I don't want, which is going to help me know what I do want, and vice versa. And that two ends of that stick are going to help me focus into what I'm wanting. Now, that makes sense, doesn't it? But here's the thing, the way your world today is affecting so many of you, that kind of got rolling in a strong way. It ultimately is to your advantage, but we just want to give this to you. If life comes to you and you say, I really don't care for that, I'd rather have that. And you have the luxury of time and focus to calibrate to what you prefer. It wouldn't take very much before things like that would be right there. But if a whole lot of things simultaneously that you don't want are showing up, showing up, showing up, if you're in defense mode all the time, then you're not taking the pivot when it is easy. And then you get feeling overwhelmed. And then you just become sort of complacent and observant. And it isn't until it gets so much that you just can't take it and you really give up that you actually turn the tide in any way. Esther turned on something the other day. She wanted to watch it and she knew it was dicey because she knew it was a news program. And she knows what the commercials are like on those news programs. And so she said to herself, I'm going to just mute every commercial, but boy, you got to be fast. <laughs> and then she thought, or better still, maybe I could just, as they present that thing that I know I don't want, I could just think about what I do want. She couldn't even begin to keep up with it. The barrage of what you don't want is coming at you so fast that you cannot pivot, 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 pivot. So what we're suggesting to all of you is that you decide to get out ahead of it, which is what you've decided to do. We can hear it in how you're setting this up. Decide to get out ahead of it by deciding that you want to feel good. I'm going to do this and I want to feel good. And then at the first awareness that it doesn't feel good bail out and just do that for a little while think I'll call my sister and I want to feel good at the first awareness that it doesn't feel good bail out <laughs> I think I'm going to watch this movie at the first awareness that it doesn't feel good bail out in other words decide that you're going to give yourself just a day or two or three it won't take much for you to reset your point of attraction. We're not kidding you. Here it is. You get what you think about. So our question to you is, where are you getting what you're thinking about? Where are you getting it? Where are you going for it? Are you going looking for good news? Are you going looking for bad news? Where are you going for it? When you decide that you're going to take a walk, do you think, where could I go? Where's the stinkiest, dirtiest street in this town? <laughs> Where is the place that really makes me want to throw up the most? I'm going to go and I'm going to endure that walk. And I'm going, you don't do that usually. In other words, there are a lot of things that, let's go out and eat. Where should we go? Well, 
Where's the worst food that you've had this year? Where is it? Let's go there and see if it's gotten any better. That's completely illogical, isn't it? So your self interests are still alive and well. We just think that you don't realize how much you're taking on that is affecting your bag of marbles until your bag of marbles reflect back to you what you've taken on and then you don't associate it with what you've been thinking and that's what makes you think somebody else is doing it to you you didn't deliberately put the marbles in your bag and so when the active marbles attracted something back to you you don't own it even though you own it where when you deliberately start putting marbles in your bag and you start getting things back to reflect those marbles now you're off and running does that make sense to you Good afternoon. We are extremely pleased that you are here, every one of you. It is good to come together for the purpose of co creating, co creating at its best. Do you agree? Yes. You are knowing what you're wanting, you have some idea of why you're here to contribute, we know for sure. You're smart. Life is giving you a lot, a lot of questions and a lot of knowing and a lot of momentum. There's a lot of that happening in this room, a lot of momentum. And when momentum toward what you are wanting is happening and you're up to speed with it so that you are allowing yourself to turn your thoughts to things. <sighs> Those are good times because there's lots of new, wonderful, satisfying experiences and things that you want that are exploding into your experience regularly. But if you have a desire, because life keeps providing your clarity about that, and you are contradicting that desire for the new that you're wanting by your awareness of what is happening now, in regards to that in other words I want this but I've got this if I've got this is really a loud frequent drum that you are beating that beating of that drum and that offering of those thoughts sets up a resistance stream that hinders this turning thoughts to things in other words this vibrational reality that you have been creating even before you came into this body and every moment you've been in this body you've been launching these rockets of clarity and preference that are uniquely yours and you've created a vibrational reality it's a vibrational escrow we call it your vortex this vibrational happening like a gestation of creation happening that will come into your experience where you can see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it and everybody else can witness it too but you can't be contradicting what's there by being aware of what's already manifested and that's what so many of our human friends are doing you're so aware of what is you're so determined to be objective weighing the pluses and the minuses and the pros and the cons and so I want this but and wouldn't it be nice if this happened but you know this is how it's been happening Esther laughs at herself several times every day as she expresses historical information that is no longer pertinent to anything that's happening in her world but sometimes it's just such a good story <laughs> that she just insists on entertaining with it one more time even though it's preventing things she wants from being able to manifest and we say is it worth it you have to decide what that path of least resistance is for you is being right this happened I was there I witnessed it I saw it I know you did it I know you did it is that being right worth not allowing what I would prefer to flow in Esther would say yes <laughs> often yes it's worth it but it never is it never ever is in the moment of momentum of pushing against 
it always seems like the absolute perfect thing to do to push a little harder against something unwanted but you know you live in an attraction based universe that means you get what you think about that means if you're shouting yes at something it's coming that means if you shout no at something it's also coming <laughs> because it's your attention to the subject that causes it to be active in you and if it's active in you it is your point of attraction Ooh, that's the best phrase ever what's my point of attraction well if you want to know there's two ways to know what your point of attraction is what keeps showing up <laughs> that's a clue and how you feel how you feel that's a manifestational evidence of what's coming so we've said for a long time to you you get what you think about whether you want it or not and these days we've goosed that up a little bit thinking that maybe you'll hear it even more clearly as we talk about your point of attraction and we say you get how you feel we want to let you off the hook we want to say to you and we do how you feel is how you feel you've been practicing it and so it's logical that how you feel is how you feel but how you feel is what you get how you feel is what you get do you feel victimized do you feel disadvantaged do you feel taken advantage of do you feel misunderstood do you feel deprived do you feel misunderstood do you feel forgotten do you feel left out well then you keep being all of those things don't you because the law of attraction cannot buck your current and the thing that is so interesting is that when you keep being the reason that you leave yourself out of things you want like prosperity and fun when you leave yourself out because of what you've practiced your point of attraction to be it never ever rarely ever hardly ever only occasionally <laughs> mostly never seems to you like it's something that you're doing it always feels like it's them if they would be different I would feel different Abraham you say you get what you feel okay I feel mad and it's their fault or I feel forgotten or I feel like I don't have enough money Abraham you know why I don't have enough money what do you want me to do make it up yes 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 if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next